This is a big black headed python. Well, this is always an awkward situation when everyone's watching you launch the boat. Bendin' rods! I found my way. I found my way. In bad times. Welcome to this week's episode. So this week it is part two of our mini series that we're doing along the Ningaloo coast. So if you list, missed last week's episode, that was at 14 mile. Uh, we did a uh, five days out there and I'll chuck the link in the bio for that one if you want to catch up on that one. But this week we're at Osprey Bay. So we've jumped all the way from 14 mile and now we're back out on the coast here at Osprey. So come along and check out Osprey with us. So we're on site 22. It's not the biggest side of the bunch, but it's all we could get. And let's see how good as we get some. Pretty good first go. He's got a good uh, navigator. All right, so we've arrived, got into the spot, a little bit tighter than what I was expecting, but um, yeah, I've unhitched all the chains, all the uh, wires and cables. And now the leveling out bit. This is what separates this van and suspension from anything else. I love it. The car is off the caravan, or the caravan off the car maybe. Either Once way. we've unhitched. Once we've unhitched. <laughs> um, I come into here and this is my Cruise Master suspension controls and I flick it through to manual and I drop the caravan. And that is that. So 62 in one side and about 12 in the other and our caravan's level. So the last two things that we did before we left Exmouth 
One was fill up the boat motor um, for fuel. Fill up the boat fuel. Um, so yeah, we filled up the boat fuel and um, I chucked a hundred bucks in the car. I already had three quarters of a tank, but I thought I'm here. Um, we're at the cheap one out of town. That's always 10 cents a litre cheaper in Exmouth, the self-serve one. And um, yeah, so I chucked a hundred bucks in, but the most important job that we almost forgot that now I get to put in the fridge is my beer. That's right, almost forgot it. On the way back through, we picked up a carton. I'll chuck her in the fridge, cool her down so I can have a nice relaxing beer later this afternoon. Ew, can't wait. All right, so anyone that wants to know about these drawer fridges, the ever cool one that we've got, that's 30 cans of the good oil and I've still got room left. So you could probably fit probably a carton and a half in or mix it up with some other drinks. But that's what a beer fridge needs to look like. Jade just whipped up some uh, chicken and cheese toasty sandwiches, which were delicious. And um, I just wanted to show you the site. So we're on site 22, but have a look. So you all know the size of my car. It's quite big. So the car fits in there nicely. The caravan fits in there nicely. Got it nice and close. And then over this side, I've even got room for the boat and the trailer to squeeze down here. So the boat and trailer will be nice and safe at night. And that's the car. Good setup. Got the washing drying already from last night because it was belting down and uh, everything got soaking wet. So now the good times roll on. Pack up and set up day aren't my favorite. But hey, we're at a new spot. I get the boat off and we'll get out in the ocean. And just like that, the boat is off and set up, ready to go fishing. I'll tell you what, from what you guys see to what I do, I wish it was easy as that. A lot of bloody hard work Dad? setting this thing up. But me and you go fishing. it's all worth it. Daddy, now we're going to go for a walk on the beach fishing. to check out this spot for the first time. Daddy. Let's go and have a look. Well, first impressions is that it's uh, it's pretty beautiful. And on low tide, we get to see all the caves and stuff like that of all the rocks, as the kids are doing now. It's, um, yeah, she's pretty cool. Look, there's a crabby line. I'm gonna get him. Check out this like fossilized coral in the rocks. How cool is that? Heaps of stuff like that in these rocks. Yeah, it's bloody cool, low tide. Make sure you come for a walk along these rocks. There is so much to discover. It's very interesting. Jade's playing peekaboo. <laughs> Look at that, that's loose. That's ready to fall out, it's just super sharp. Oh hey, wow. What is it babe? Look at this one, it's all like um, fossilised coral again. Look at that rock pool. That is super cool. Catching waves yeah. in the green room. Hang ten shuckers. <laughs> you know what will be cool is if we come back here at night and go through all these little rock pools at night and see what's around. What do you reckon? Yeah, that'd be cool. We get some lights. And the GoPro light. 
little mouse running around at night. So we're going to go down the beach and um, see what we can find. Let's have a look. Hello. Found a little ghost crab. Have a look at him. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> oh my god! You're everywhere. This spy crab, guy. You don't even notice them. That's a little, little female blue swimmer sort of crab. Yeah. Look at him. Oh, these big. There's two of them in there. Okay, one just went away. Oh my god! What kind of fish is that? Oh, that's a big. Oh, he's a fasty. Like, he's really fast. How <laughs> did he didn't come and say hello to us? I touched him. Oh, oh, no. oh my yeah, god, there's a little One of our fish just jumped up onto the beach. That was that one that I was recording before. Big one. Don't touch him, Lani. Don't touch him. He's very spiky. Oh. I love fish. How's that? He literally jumped out of the water to get away. Don't, just be careful, buddy. That's insane. Come on, let's get him back in the water. That's it, get him in the deep stuff. Yeah, there we go. Good job. Look at him! There's millions of these crabs on this beach. Stop, Dad! And he's gone. He's still there. Yeah. Yeah. Lani, look at him! Where is he? Where did he go? Um, I, it went on your foot, Lani. And I <laughs> caught you! Yay. Alright, let him go. Good job, Richard. Uh, Good job. Uh, High five. Can I catch it? Oh, he might bite you. They're big ones. Catch it. Go on, go on, go catch him. No, you. Is he dead or is he alive? He's, He's alive. alive. He was running. <coughs> he sounds funny. Alright, <laughs> let's go. That's enough. I want to catch this one. That's enough crabbing for one night. Let's go to sleep. I've had enough for the day. Good morning. Day two here at Osprey Bay. So last night we went for a bit of a walk as you've seen and um, walked along low tide. It's now reasonably high tide and the swell is pumping through here. Uh, the rocks have got the water crashing along them and all the water spraying up everywhere. A little bit different from when we arrived yesterday and went for a little walk. Today, the plan is, well the plan was, bite time out here today for fishing was 1.30. And I'm hoping that the swell hopefully dies down because there's no way in the world I'll get my boat in here at the moment. The swell is just pumping through where we can launch the boat. But um, yeah. We'll see what it turns out like. The kids are doing schoolwork at the moment. I thought I'd come down here and uh, see what the weather's like. Then we'll head back, help the kids with their schoolwork. And about 12 o'clock, hopefully we can get this boat in and head out to yonder, and catch some fish. In front of all the um, camp bays on the left, there's all rocks all in front of it and a couple of small little beach areas. Um, that you can access the water through in between the rocks. Um, yeah, it's not your idyllic, picturesque, sandy beach that you can go swimming at, um, but at low tide, the water's out past the rocks and it's pretty much like it anyway, so. Yeah, it's a little bit different to the other beaches along here with all the rocks in front of it, but it's still beautiful. This is the boat launch area and um, there's a couple of shelters up above and the gravel track comes down towards the sand and um, yeah just have a look at it. Whoa that was a big one. So that's why I'm hoping that it dies down a little bit so that I can get my boat in at the moment. That'll just smash my boat to pieces. So let's hope that the swell calms down and we can get out there and do some fishing. So we just got back from Yardy Creek. Um, we had to go and check the weather again because it just wasn't playing the game that it was supposed to. 
and I bloody forgot a GoPro but the tide was so high out there and the waves were crashing through where you'd uh, normally do your, your crossing and I bloody missed it but um, I'm gonna get a GoPro I'm gonna go back there maybe tomorrow or something to show you um, high tide at Yardi Creek and um, yeah but for now while we're out there we got a bit of service and some friends from Exmouth are driving out and they're coming out to meet us and have a few beers and there's a few other traveling families out here that uh, we're gonna have a few beers a bit of a swim a bit of a snorkel and um, enjoy the day and enjoy the night so no fishing today all right so the beach is uh, a bit bigger here lots of sand and uh, easy access into the water let's go for a snorkel <laughs> As you can see by the footage, snorkeling wasn't all that I'd hoped to be. But tomorrow, um, less swell, we're gonna get the boat out and uh, head out for some snorkeling and some fishing out there and get some better footage. But for now, we're just gonna sit back, have some beers and watch the sun go down. morning uh, day three here at Osprey Bay uh, enjoyed a few beers last night a whole bunch of traveling families that are out here and some that just come out to uh, catch up with us from Exmouth so that was good um, it's about seven o'clock and I'm just down here checking to see if I can get the boat out and she looks pretty good in close but out far she looks pretty choppy and the wind is a lot stronger than predicted so I might just get it out go for a drive if we can get out there we will if we can't there's a couple of good snorkeling spots that have been tied around we might just come back in and go for a snorkel So to throw a spanner in the works, Jade has really, really, really hurt her back. So over the last few days, she's been getting a stiff back and yesterday it just seized right up and she can barely breathe, she can barely uh, walk. And this is her today. How is it? Not fun. Not fun? Um, yeah, we all know, well, most of us know what a sore back's like, especially when you get to our age. It's uh, it's not nice at all. So we're tossing up well, whether or not um, we go and see someone about it or we just keep massaging and putting some cream on. And um, yeah, so that throws a bit of a spanner in the works, but as we always do, we get through it, don't we? What do you reckon? A few drugs and I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> like we all anyway we'll keep you updated with uh <coughs> with her back so let's get in that serious 
that we're going to drive to Yardy Creek again to get some reception. So Jade can speak to a doctor and um, we might have to go and see a doctor about this because she's not good. And look at her get down these stairs. It's like an old lady. Come on grandma. Do you need me to help you mum? Well that's a big step that one. Do you want me to get the stool? Yeah. Okay, let's go get the stool for mum mate. Where is it? Deep breaths love, deep breaths. Oh, you're a gentleman's son. Okay, Brad, you have to get off me. Your weight hurts my back. You can, you can use me as a little <laughs> well. Get that thing off me. <laughs> Nothing worse than back pain. Oh. Except for the man flu. <laughs> man flu is pretty bad. <laughs> All right, have a look at this big fella. to stop in this car. This is a big black headed python. These snakes are absolutely amazing. These are my favorite, favorite snakes. Have a look at him. They are the coolest snakes going around. This one is one of the biggest ones that I've ever seen. He's, he can't smell me because I'm downwind from him. But they can be a little bit aggressive, but mostly they are pretty placid. That is a bloody beautiful snake. Look at how look at him. Look, that is so cool. You can really touch him, Dad. I feel like Dad. Just like snakes do, mate. Look. Off he goes. Not to be seen again. I love those snakes. They are my favourite. Absolute favourite. I was going to buy one when we lived in Perth in a house and um, have him as a pet, but yeah. Super cool. I'm a little bit excited about that. Haven't seen one in ages. So I told you we'll be back to Yardy Creek and bring a GoPro. So we've come back and um, the tide's not as high as what it was yesterday. The water's a lot clearer. And um, yeah, it almost looks like you could get something through there on low, low tide. The other day it didn't look like you could, but I know everything looks different when there's waves crashing in and that. But uh, yeah, check it out. What did you find? I found it. Yeah. Well, what did you? What is it? See it. Spin yeah. it around. Show me everything. Some seaweed. It's, it's cool. a very, very heavy sea urchin. Got sand in it. That's why. Mom. I want it too. Fine. You made it. Well done. You lost me. Good job, kitties. Line is like, I'm never going swimming ever again. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Yardy Creek. Um, that way, behind me, there is a boat tour that you can go on. Not sure how expensive it is. We didn't look into it. Um, but it's the only boat that's let it go up and down the river. 
no motorized vessels are allowed to drive up and down there otherwise we would have taken our own boat down there for a cruise you can paddle down there but you just can't have a motor apparently and if you walk that way again there's a massive walk um i'll show you the sign of how far it is i can't quite remember but um yeah it looks beautiful down there i wouldn't mind doing the walk might see if uh the weather what the weather's doing tomorrow and see if kobe wants to come for a walk or Peyton and see if they want to go down there for a look. It'll be beautiful, I reckon. First thing in the morning, a nice walk. But we'll see how we go. Yardy Creek, it's changed so much since I was here. They got toilets, full 4G phone reception, boat tours. All right, so we just got back from Yardy Creek. The wind's down, the swell was up. It was a little bit harder getting it in the water than what I thought. But we made it, unscathed, no water in the boat. And, we're going out fishing. Let's do this. See you out in the fishing grounds. Have a look at this water. All right, first drop. The boy's in. I'm in. We're in 12 meters of water. I'm already getting bites. Let's see how we go. All right, Kobe caught the first fish. Give us a quick look, mate. Where is he? A um, little stripey. And I caught this little fella. Um, so we'll release them. Go again. All right, I've just hooked onto the biggest fish. It was a great fight. I get it up and have a bloody look. My one's... A Norwest bloody blowy kobe's onto a good fish though he's got a sized one there that's dinner and he fights good kobe's on what's he gonna catch we've caught heaps of just undersized emperor and uh hoping this one might be dinner hoping we might have a sized one it's putting up a pretty good fight Oh, it's just that it's really big. Come on, buddy, yeah. We're in 30 metres of water. I think yeah, bring him up. What is he? Mm. Nice and gentle. He's big. Or is it two fish? It's two fish. It's a double header. <laughs> All right, well one's undersized and we'll check the other one. Well, you wouldn't believe it. It's a stripy sea perch, four star eating fish, and it went 29 centimeters, so 290 mil, 10 mil undersized. So I um, popped his little air bladder, swam him down, and he survived. So happy days for that one. That's Kobe's fish. That needs to be 280 millimeters. Oh, look at the chompers on him. And oh, he is every bit of 370 millimeters. That's dinner. Woo! So again, I've got a snap swivel up there. My leader is attached to my braid with an FG knot. And I have a snap swivel, then I just make up paternostic rigs. So one hook, two hooks, and then the sinker down the bottom. Um, it's pretty simple. It's always my go-to when I've got no idea what we're trying to catch or what I'm doing, which is most of the time. Um, but yeah, we're catching lots of fish. Just all the babies, that's all. I think we might have the nursery here. Let's keep going though. the boat ramp it's all well and good in the high tide low tide this is how we do it and that's the advantage of having a rear winch as well so all this stuff with the boat especially when you get higher up north the higher the tides the longer the rope well after a hard day's hunting and gathering 
Nothing beats a good old fashioned swim in the ocean to get rid of that fishy smell. Woo! How good. Look at it. Tell me what you want to say. No, I want to talk underwater. Alright, talk underwater. I reckon you could. Go. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah, well, I guess. Alright, one, two, three, go. <laughs> What did you say to it? I love you! <laughs> oh, you're so good! Been looking for paradise That purple light Can't hide And I've been the fallen night Stars collide Good morning. Wow. I forget which day it is. Day three or four or... I, I don't know. It all rolls into one when we're out here. But anyway, we have been absolutely gifted a perfect day. There is no wind. A few clouds, but very minimal. And um, today is family boat day. So we've been told about a few reefs out here. Um, just straight out of Osprey Bay uh, when I rocked up um, one of you guys I forgot to get your name mate so I really apologize but thanks for the tip and um, yeah so we're gonna go out and check out that reef that uh, that you told us about and I found a couple of awesome reefs down further um, actually out of the sentry zone so um, yeah we're gonna go out all together Jade's back's feeling a lot better um, it's not hundred percent but it's a bit better and um, yeah, we're going to head out, go for a snorkel, and um, hopefully get some awesome footage. So that's today's plan. Well, this is always an awkward situation when everyone's watching you launch the boat. And you have to get the match tracks out because <laughs> you get bogged. Uh, I I <laughs> oh, God. Yes, I've got full tire pressures. I didn't get bogged here the last two days, so I went a bit further back this time. User error. What do you do? I'm not putting your straps on your tracks. <laughs> so many mistakes today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful that water looks. I don't know how deep they are. I'm hitting the one there. Dig it out, son. I think we can go there. I'm going to sit and watch. Oh, he's so hard. I didn't expect to lose it. Hey, Mummy. Alright, so after my stuff up at the boat ramp, we're in the water. The water is so clear. Let's do it. 
Peyton's on. Toby just caught a fish, but I didn't get it on camera. We'll be clear. Okay, I got a long way to wind it up, and that's what I know. You see any colour yet, mate? I see some colour. Alright, we're getting close. Yeah, it's like a leather jacket, I think. Oh, no, no, no. It's got black spots on it. What if I caught a cod? Yeah. Oh, oh a little uh, blue lined emperor. What we caught yesterday. Well, we didn't catch him yesterday. You Out caught the way, Coach. Blue spotted emperor. No, we caught a red Look. spotted emperor. emperor. Stay. Kobe's on. Oh, yeah. That's it, lift your wine, buddy. Oh, look at the big little yeah. fish on there. Oh, oh yeah, we got colour. Is he big? Nah, he looks the same as what I just caught. Yep, he's the exact same as what I just caught. No reason small. It's a bit smaller, that one. Yeah, a lot smaller. Kobe's on a good fish. Well, at least he's telling us it is. Oh, feels good. Feels good? All right, come on, dude. Get him up. Nice and slow. Don't rush it. Just gentle, mate. Gentle pulls. That's it. It's not fighting anymore. Yeah, they don't fight when they get it's to the top. It's a leather jack? That's weird. The big leather jack. Yeah, that's that's a crud fish. <laughs> the big leather jacket. Right, let's throw him back. So we caught two sized fish, and unfortunately, little Lani's feeling seasick. Kobe and Peyton, they're not feeling great either. Even though it's awesome conditions, you just don't breed them like they used to. I don't think. I'm feeling better, Dad. <laughs> So there's little Lani getting mum hugged, she's too, she's too not surprised. feeling too well. So that'll do for fishing. We got two fish. We'll uh, head back in and go for a snorkel on those spots. Let's do it. We just had to drop Jade and Lani off. Obviously, Jade, she, had, she actually heard it back again. Um, wasn't a great move coming out in the boat looking back at it. Um, but Lani was really seasick and she ended up falling asleep on the way home. Um, so it's just me and the two older kids. Just gonna pop out to this reef and go for a bit of a swim and a bit of a snorkel and see what's out there. Here we go. Snorkel face. Let's get in the water. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for you so much I can find my way. We got air. Alright, this is spot number two and uh, we're out of the sanctuary zone now but I've got nothing to uh, kill a fish with anyway, but yeah, spot number two, let's check it out.
sharks. Hopefully I captured them both. Um, one of them is barely moving away from us. I think that's because we have our... Shark fans. Our shark fans on. Maybe it was working. Maybe it was just scared. I don't know. But um, yeah, anyway, two sharks. No turtles though. Maybe we'll get back to shore and try and see some turtles back there. But anyway, got a picture of me boob there. Anyway, we're going to head back and get some lunch. <laughs> there he is, buddy. There he is. There he is. snorkel number three for the day and this one is straight off the beach so anybody can do this one even if you don't have a boat heaps of turtles out here let's go and check this one out
morning. Um, day four, five, one of them again, I can't remember. But uh, we're out in the boat again, but this time it's a little bit different. So no kids, and we've got uh, a special guest with us. Uh, it's Reese. he's a traveling family as well. He's been on the road for, how long have you been on the road for, Reese? Uh, we've been on the road four years now, so. Four years. First time out in a little tinny, so should be good fun. So yeah, see how we go. We're going out deep to see what we can catch. Let's do it. It's, uh, it's been pretty slow. And um, we've caught lots of little fish, the red spotted emperor. Uh, Reese caught a bloody ripper one, so that's in the bag. Um, but then we decided we'll give something a go that me personally I've never done. And that's this. Hundred and fifty-three meters of water. Um, there's a massive drop off here. So we thought we'd come out and check it out. We catch nothing what have we lost a bit of time um but yeah so we're in 150 meters of water giving it a go we're both on here 150 meters of water reese is turning the boat around <laughs> but we're on oh reese is off we're on still I'm not entirely sure what it is just yet, but it looks good. And that's from 153 meters of water. It took me 10 minutes. I'm gonna ID him. And if he's any good, I'll keep him. If not, hopefully he swims back. It's a gold band snapper. There is no size limit on them. I'm allowed to have three in this area that I'm fishing at. And it's a five star fish baby check him out that's the size of the phone we'll get a measurement on him anyway i'm stoked that that my arm is sore <laughs> i have got wicked pump Woo! so there she is 59 centimeter gold band snapper going in the esky. Let's go get some more. Let's get you one, Reese. It's Reese's turn. He's on. He's pulling the boat around, so it's uh, it must be a half decent fish. 150 meters of water. We'll let you know how he goes. Big man, eh? <laughs> Bending rods. Woo Every 10 meters he gets, it takes another five. You want to see it? Take your time. <laughs> no gimbal. <laughs> Just good times ahead. Yeah, we'll, <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll keep you informed. All right, so the time is 1.05. And uh, he's still fighting for it. Let's have a look. Are you traveling there, Reese? Pain. 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 But it's a good solid fish. It's fighting the whole way. Good head shakes. Good everything. Good times. All right, All right bit of color. We're at about the 10 meter mark. And we've got color. Don't rush it. Whatever we do. <laughs> Here he comes. What the fuck is it? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Looks sharky. Ah. It looks sharky. <laughs> ah. Damn. It is a shark. Yep, she's a shark.
All right, I'm on again. She's she's bouncing. This is why we do it. Well, that's number two. We'll give him a measure and uh, see how big this one is. All right, so he went 64 centimeters. So he's actually bigger than my other one. I thought the other one felt bigger, but this one's a little bit longer. So yeah, we'll get them both compared to each other and when we're back in shore. We've just drifted again and I've hooked on and I've caught the fish. And I've tried to ID this fish the best that I can. So me and Reese are on the boat. We've got the Rec Fish WA app, the ID app. And for me, I'm pretty certain that it's a golden snapper. Um, not 100% sure. Don't shoot me, don't put me down. I try my best. It was from 150 meters of water. But have a look, see what anybody else knows and what they reckon. It's quite bloated from the air, but that's uh, that's what we reckon it is. Now they have a size limit of 300 here, um, and that's well over 300. Don't shoot me. If I've made a mistake, it's a mistake. I tried my best. Are you on? Yep, fish on. Ah, Where fish on. Fish on. Bottom, fish on. <laughs> All right, we got color. Reese has powered this in. What is it this time? Come on, Goldie. What's this one? It's different again. Oh, Ruby. Yo, beauty. Don't touch them. Don't do not touch their gills. Okay. They are like razors. Right. Now uh, let's get the size limit for him. They are good eating, man. Yeah. Well done. Great fish. Jeez, if we can get a few more of them, that'll be good. Great day. Reese is on again. Why is it always Reese on? I haven't caught anything decent yet. <laughs> <laughs> right. So just while Reese is on, my rod that I've had for 12 years snapped. And um, I didn't even put any pressure on it. Might have been fragile from something. Um, but yeah, be a good rod. She's out of action, so I'm gonna have to buy a new rod, keep the reel, get that serviced, and um, get back out of here. This is great out here. Bloody hard work winding it in from 150, but geez, we're having a good session. Okay, it's taken a twist. We think he's just been sharked. I bloody hope not. He deserves a good fish. Oh no. Oh no. That was a good fish too. You're joking. Ah. Oh, unbloody believable. That's big. I'm glad I didn't take it. That's a stoinker. Look at the rod. Woo. Oh no. You bastard! It makes fantastic bait though. Alright, so we've been, we've just been trawling on the way home and both rods have just gone bang off. Oh, have a look. Little tuna. I've got to get him out. I'm going to sort this out. Well that was just nuts. Absolute chaos. Um, one of them unfortunately died from thrashing around with the lure in its throat. So we've killed him. Um, we'll use him for either food or bait. But have a look at the lure. That's what did the damage. And uh, there's blood everywhere. We've just cleaned the boat. There was blood everywhere, unfortunately. So um, that might be better. Yeah, let's go again. Well, we're back. What a bloody awesome day. Um, it was great. 
to not have to deal with kits when you're fishing because it can get frustrating at times. But we've caught some great fish. I'll show you them all later. Uh, what do you reckon, Reese? Hey, awesome day, mate. Good day. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, bloody ripper. All right. See you back on land. <laughs> this is our catch. Gold spotted emperor. Golden snapper. Gold band, gold band. Tuna. Gold band. Not a bad day's fishing. Families are eating well tonight. Well guys, that was Osprey Bay. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Just a little snippet of what we do um, when we're at a spot, especially this close to the ocean. Um, it's not always going to be about fishing. Uh, there are going to be times where there's going to be no fishing at all. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. We caught some fish. I uh, had a great time with some other traveling families. But as you can see, we're all packed up and we're ready to go. See you guys on the next one. Yew.